Hi everyone, welcome to Adventures with Jenny. Today we have a very exciting adventure. We are going wine tasting in Traverse City. Traverse City has some incredible wineries. If you have never been before, definitely add it to your bucket list. We are going to three wineries in the Old Mission Peninsula. I've been to all of them before. They're all really great. And I'm gonna bring you along and go wine tasting. But first, we have to have some coffee and some breakfast before we hit the road. It's just going to be me, my mom, and the Karens going wine tasting, and then Franklin is going to stay back with my dad, and they're going to spend the afternoon at the beach. So I think it'll be a really fun day for them, and they get to spend some quality time together. They love playing together, especially at the beach and the sand, so we're going to do that. One of the extra add-on options that you can do at the Anchor Inn is to receive a breakfast basket. This features products that from Rise that are vegan, gluten-free, soy-free. You get two of their hearty breakfast cookies. These are really good and I love that that comes in this little basket. The breakfast option also comes with a container of oat milk. My toddler really loved the oat milk. Then you also get a bag of their granola. I really love their granola. This was really good and this was the perfect way to start our day. Before heading out wine tasting, I took Franklin to the playground. He was obsessed with this playground. He could have stayed here all day. He loved it so much. So this is a great thing that they have for little kids to play. He was obsessed with this playground and we had so much fun. to our first winery of the day. We are at Chateau Chantel. It is a gorgeous Michigan day. We're gonna go get a wine flight, enjoy some wine. Inside of Chateau Chantel, there is indoor seating if you don't wanna sit outside. And they also have a really great wine selection that you can purchase bottles of wine. They have these really gorgeous Michigan like cheese board. We decided to each order a wine flight. You do so at the bar, at the winery, and you pick which wines you would like. I chose three of their white wines. I prefer a dry white wine when it comes to wine. And we sat outside and had breathtaking views at the winery. We are finishing up at Chateau Chantel. This is winery number one for our little wine tour at Old Mission Peninsula. Inside, they do have some non-alcoholic beverages, lots of different snack options. If you need a little bit of food while you are at wine tasting, it's always great. Lots of crackers, chip options. So if you're looking for food, head inside. And then also they have a great selection of different souvenirs you can purchase along with their bottles of wine. So lots of great options there. They also have another patio seating area that isn't on the deck but on the side of the winery. We just arrived at Bride's Estate. This is our second winery of the trip. We have a reservation for their upper deck, so I think it'll be really nice to sit up there. It is so beautiful here, so let me show you around. And then after our wine tasting, we are gonna head down to the Secret Garden. They have lavender, a little gift shop. It looks super cute, and I cannot wait to check that out. If you are planning to visit this winery, I definitely recommend making reservations online. We made a reservation to sit on their upper deck. You do have a time limit when you are sitting here. I also love visiting this winery during the fall because the views of the fall colors are breathtaking. To drink, my mom ordered the Frosé. This is a great option, very Instagrammable. And then they split the charcuterie board, which is a great snack type option for wine tasting. I like how they have the little labels. Mm. I like sweeter. I already cooked up for my Chardonnay. Oh, salty and blonde. Yeah, I'm starting with the dry Riesling. Mm. Yeah, I think this is, I got a dry reason the last time. It's really good. Mm. Mm. I like that one. After wine tasting, I got the Frosé Sorbet from Moomers. This was so good. I'm definitely not a sweet person, but this Frosé, the Strawberry Frosé Sorbet, was delicious. You can also purchase bottles of their wine and hard cider inside, which we did. 
We just got done with our wine tasting. All of the wines were incredible, and I really loved the Moomers Sorbet Frosé. It was so good. I'm definitely not a big sweet person, but that sorbet was incredible. I am so glad that I got that. And now we are getting ready to head to our second winery. We're just finishing up here. I did get a bottle of the Dry Riesling. That was my favorite wine that I had on my flight. It was so good. Definitely a must if you like dry white wine. But now we are going to drive down to the secret garden here at Bride's. I love visiting the secret garden. This is a must visit if you're coming to the winery and during the fall they have different seasonal items and inside they have a little gift shop where you can buy lots of different lavender type products, a great selection of items. You can also pick lavender. They have you pick lavender available. We just didn't have the time to pick lavender on this trip, but definitely on our next visit, I definitely want to pick some lavender. The different varieties of lavender were breathtaking. I love seeing all of the different variations in purples and the smell was incredible. Lavender is so beautiful. It is so vibrant. They have different types of lavender here. I wish that we were able to you pick the lavender, but definitely on our next visit, we will have to do that. And it's just incredible and the air smells so amazing from all of the amazing lavender. For our third winery, we stopped at Bonobo Winery. I really love this winery. It is beautiful. They have lots of outdoor seating and it just has a really great vibe to it. I was feeling a little hungry, so I ordered one of their small bite options. I got this quinoa salad. It was really light, refreshing, and appeared really well with the white wine. The last winery stop, we stopped at Mari Vineyards. I love Mari. I think their wine is incredible. I really love their style of wines. They specialize in kind of dry white wines, and everything is so good, and they have breathtaking views as well. You can get a glass of wine, or you can also get a flight and we each got a wine flight and I just love how the flight was presented and then we took our wine out to enjoy these breathtaking views. The inside is beautiful as well and they also have a gift shop that you can purchase different t-shirts and items. We are back at the Anchor Inn after an amazing day wine tasting in Traverse City. It is so fun going to wineries when you visit Traverse City. If you like wine, it is a must visit. All of the wineries are beautiful, have gorgeous views, and it's just a really fun activity to do. They also offer a lot of wine tours here in Traverse City where you could do like a private tour, you could do like a group join in tour, and that's always a great option too. So everyone in your party can drink wine. Franklin and my dad had a great time at the beach and he loved the little playground here at the Anchor Inn and he fell asleep. So we stayed back and everybody else went to dinner and we kind of, we were gonna go back to the playground cause that's what he wanted to do, but he ended up falling asleep. And I think he just had too much fun this afternoon. So it was early night for him, but that is gonna wrap up our full day here in Traverse City. And we're just gonna hang out at the Anchor Inn the rest of the evening, relax outside, and maybe we'll roast marshmallows or do s'mores, I'm not too sure. I think if Franklin does wake up, we will do that. And I think that's gonna be it. We're gonna call it a night here at the Anchor Inn in Traverse City, Michigan. We loaded up the car and we are leaving Traverse City. Now we are heading to Baylor, Michigan for two nights. It's about an hour or so drive from here. And that'll be in the next vlog. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. As always, thank you for coming along on an adventure with us. Until next time, bye.